Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today we're going to do an old technique, it's just called color blocking. We see it a lot in our clothing and um, I just was really taken by the fall colors this week. Um, I know everybody's saying don't rush it along, don't rush it along, but when you're in the heat of summer in Florida, you are really looking forward to the fall. So I'm going to show you three different cards doing the color blocking technique, but with some different looks. So this first one is using our new note cards here. So we have these note cards, the craft note cards and envelopes here, and you get 20 of the note cards. Note cards are three and a half by five, still have a wonderful amount of writing in there. My daughter actually likes note cards because she doesn't have to write as much, she says. Um, but they also come in this package of the note cards comes an actual craft box. So you have the box itself with a lid that fits on top. So it is really cute because you can make up a gift um, basket like and put some cards in it in a cute little box there. So we're going to use the note cards for this card and it really paired well with the fall colors with that craft. So the first thing I did is I just made um, three colors and I taped them together here. Now these ones, the measurements are one and three quarters, and then I'm gonna cut them down once I get my die cutting done. But I just went with one and three quarters. You can go with any size. You could do a skinnier one, a fatter one, a skinnier one. It doesn't really matter. Um, but just pick some colors that you like that you wanna put up against each other. These are perfect for fall using the Crushed Curry and the Merry Merlot and the Cajun Craze. And I used another fun uh, new item that's in the annual catalog, and that is our Fancy Frames dies. And I used the one that has the foliage on it. So what I'm gonna show you, what I did, is I liked having, oh, I might have put these two, oh, I did a little different, didn't I here? I put the, um, the Mary Merlot in the middle. So I guess I would like the a little bit darker of a color on the bottom. Actually, I wish that I would have done that. Oh no, you know what? This is just a sample for another card. The other card we're making. This is the one I'm using. Cause I like the way, <laughs> see, I was trying to be really prepared for you guys today. So I wanted to have the darker one weighted down at the bottom. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to get, of course the middle one is gonna have a little more color showing. So I just put that on there and then I'm just going to use a little bit of some of this highlighter tape. I got this on Amazon. It's just tape that people can use to highlight books, textbooks or whatever they'd like to. So we're just going to just put a little bit of tape to keep it in place because I don't want it to um, get moved really because I want to have like that nice design there. So we've got the Fancy Frames die over the three colors that we picked and we're going to put it into our stamp and cut emboss machine. You're gonna have the major one plate, the big thick one that goes at the bottom, then a, the second number two plate there. And then we're just gonna put an acrylic plate, which is number three. We're gonna put our die on there and put another three on top. Now you're gonna sit and gaze there while I run this through. Now, oh, before we start, I'm, I'm sure you're looking at this thinking, wouldn't it be great to have put adhesive sheets under this so that when you apply it and adhere it to this card base, you would have the adhesive already on it. Now, I will tell you, there's two reasons why I didn't use the adhesive sheet. Because once this comes out, you can see the, the thin die here and once you have that really great adhesive sheet on there um, if you put it down and you try to pull it and wiggle it around it might tear so that was my number one reason my number two reason why i'm not using the adhesive sheets is i cannot find them in this area i call a craft room <laughs> i can't put my i must have moved them 15 times if i've moved them one time and the one time I can't find them. So I tried not to get too mad at myself because I'm probably gonna find them a half an hour after this video. But um, I thought to myself, well, they would have been a little tricky with the thinness of that die anyhow. So here we go. I'm going to run 
this through my Big Shot a couple times. Because when you're doing that intricate die, you want to run it back and forth a couple times through. Okay? Alrighty. So I'm gonna bring that back out here. And I always tell my girls, make sure that you've gone through it all because I taped these with scotch tape before I ran it through the big shot so they didn't, you know, the colors didn't move. So you have to get cut through the scotch tape. So I ran it through a couple times and then I'm just gonna pop it into my, a piece of sponge that comes and you're gonna save that little piece that comes out. And I'm just going to use my take your pick tool, the brush side, and just run it through here. Okay, and that should, yep, pull it there. I'm gonna pull that aside and look at that cute little um, multicolored, there we go. There's some big pieces that come out there. Let's get this little guy out of here and put it aside and then just wiggle all these little pieces out. And doesn't that create just a really fun effect there, having the three there? So I'm just gonna go ahead and use some glue here and put some of these little, I made sure this was working before. I'm just gonna put, whoop, I see a little piece here. Use my take your pick tool and you know, I recently got two of these, and so I just keep them permanently. Um, piercer and the uh, roller brush for um, getting those little pieces out. And then I'm just going to put some glue. And of course, I should have got my little applicator bottle. But you know what I was doing last night? Just finishing out my evening. Jim had went to bed. I was watching the news, and I was putting together some intricate things. And I left that little tiny glue down in the kitchen. And of course, I've walked by it 10 times today. And each time I come up, I have something else in my hands, but I forgot that. So I just say to my girls at class, just make yourself a little blob. And you can either dig in the garbage can for a little scotch of paper and use the corner, or just use the tip of the glue. Okay, and there we go. Get some glue on here. And I was, I have to tell you, I was like bummed that I couldn't find my adhesive sheets. But then I just thought, I know, I love to use those adhesive sheets for a really close together de detailed die. But this one does, I think I might have had to um, move it around. So I'm just going to grab that. Oh. I see a little bit bare space down here. I think we can get a little more glue here. So of course you can use, you can make these colors, any color you want. I just went with these three fall colors, but that you can definitely use other colors. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting this down on my craft note card. So let's move our thing there. And the inside is just going to be, since um, these are three and a half by five, the inside is just gonna be three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Just take a quarter inch off your measurement, then that gives you an eighth and an eighth all the way around. Okay, so all those measurements, everything I use in this video are all on my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com, but also underneath the YouTube, in the description, the video, you can see the link to my blog and you can jump right over there. It says visit my blog here. Press the button, link over to Cindy Lee B Designs. Now let's just get this, and I did wanna move this a little bit. And if you get a little glue on your card, don't worry about that. Wait until it is totally, totally, totally dry, and then you can get that off with an adhesive remover. One of these little gummy looking things. Um, but they only work when your glue is dry and then they are just perfect. Okay, so we've got that great fall frame on there and then we're gonna pop this back in the middle. Now we could have made this like white 
we could have made it some other color, but the design of this, I'm just popping it right back in there. I just think it looks great there. Um, but you can easily use that on another card or you could pop in a different color in there. And the nice thing about these note cards, just like any other of the note cards that we use, you could make this, especially this frame, this frame could go this way or it could go this way. So, hey, why don't we do that, okay? This card is going to have a portrait. This one's gonna be a landscape. So I'm using another fun project product on this card. And that's the Leaf Label and Amber Gem Combo Pack. So it has these amber gems in here, 50 of them. And you have, um, oh, not 50 of them, I'm sorry. <laughs> not 50, there's 50 pieces in here. It is, um, I do believe, 20 leaves. 20 leaves and 30 embellishments that are in there. So we're gonna be using that on this card. And what I did is also used another fun thing. I stamped this really pretty, endlessly grateful sentiment here. And that comes from another great stamp set that came out in our mini July to December 2022 catalog. I love this. Actually, I came up upon this. I kind of overlooked it in the catalog and then somebody ordered it and I was like, oh, let me see what that is. Oh, so then definitely I ordered it. I love the different fonts in it and how you can mix and match them. The thinking of you with comfort and love. I love that one. Love you, mean it, love you, miss you. You're the best, those go together well. Um, you make my life happier and endlessly grateful is what I'm gonna do on this fall card. And then two great sentiments here for Christmas. So I love that. So we're using that very best occasions. And this is um, uh, one of the leaves that's in there and it is a craft. So it's almost a perfect match to our note card. So we're gonna put that onto our card. And I did pull out a, where is it? Oh, here we go. Um, this is Bumblebee. Um, so it is retired, but I still had some of this gingham and it just looked so cute with this. So I said, why not put it on here? But you could put any type of a ribbon or a twine on here, something that just has like a fall theme to it and matches with the colors. Now, one of my little tricks recently is I always have an issue trying to get something to go through the holes on tags. So what I've been doing is kind of just putting the ribbon through the hole and then just putting a glue dot on the back. You can see I stamped on the wrong side because it's a little bit different a shade there. And then I just take my glue dots, there we go, and I just put a glue dot right underneath that circle. And then I just kind of put my ribbon attached and then I just spread it there on my tag. And then I'm not having like, it just works for me. So we're gonna put, be putting that on our card. We're gonna use some dimensionals. So here we are making a, a fall card in the summer, but we'll be getting ready for that, you know? And if you um, go to somebody's for Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, it's nice to have a little card to give them. So I just put some dimensionals on there. If you're gonna take, you know, just a little treat, it's a nice little card. You could even leave it some, uh, just, um, you could leave it for them, some secret place, you know, just a little tuck it in there, like maybe in there, some place that they're not looking at right then and there, and then just a reminder after they've entertained for you. Um, there we go. We're just gonna pop that right in with the, there we go. And then we're just gonna pull out some of the gems, and I just happen to have some, I already opened up a pack and the, the amber gems really match well with the pumpkin pie the, and the crushed curry and the craft. It's just like you get the bigger ones and the smaller ones. So we're just gonna do a trio. So let's do, let's do a big one there and let's put two small ones over, over here in the, the really pop off the the Mary Merlot there. Okay, so a quick little card, but I just realized when I turned my card, I need to, I had already pre-stamped it, so I need to stamp it again. 
And what I did is I have it all ready and grab the Mary Merlot ink pad. This is a um, very fine font. So we're just gonna be little taps. And then I'm going to center it see here there we go and then we can just put that I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue I apologize for Jim being on the phone I did warn him working from home has some little caveats I'm making a video Jim <laughs> He's talking to my son. They work together and I thought well, it's one thing if you hear him, but then you hear both of them <laughs> So there I did it guys. I got over the fear of saying hey, I'm making a video <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Okay, so there we go one easy way to do color blocking and using a die now we're going to make another card that I Want to show you another idea now I made these cards here Okay, and what I did is I just took my three color blocks here that I was doing and I use another fun new product that's in our July through December and that is our leaves embossing folder. So I, the one thing about this leaves embossing folder, um, always keep the logo on the front of your folder when you're putting it through your machine and you're going to have some blank Part for here. So what I'm going to do is put it in here and then you're going to see that I want to get embossing all along the top and then I'm going to have this down on the bottom and then it'll end up up here is going to be my blank which it doesn't matter which way you do that. So when you're doing embossing with your stamp and cut emboss machine you're going to have the one Put it directly on there you're, you've taken out the number two and then you're going to put this number four gray plate if you have um the old plates we had it would have been like a kind of a see-through bluish purple and then we're going to run that through our embossing folder so this is just another way to use color blocking in a in a cool way, okay? So now I have this color blocking here and I'm going to get my little trimmer, but this ink pad being open is making me a little crazy. Okay, so my little trimmer was right here and we're just gonna trim this down. Now, when I made this card, I used our tags dies. Um, I have them here. I used our tailor-made tags and I just used one that was smaller than the other one. So when I did that, I layered them just to give it a little more um, dimension on the card because it's kind of simple, but it has the embossing and then I used some leaves on there. So whenever I did that, I put a tiny bit of very vanilla showing on here. So on the card we're going to make though, so I'm gonna to wanna to cut this down I'm gonna cut this down to three and three quarters. Okay, so I'm doing three and three quarters, but I'm gonna make sure that I start off trimming off this edge in case when you taped everything together, it wasn't totally straight. It's good to just get that little piece there. So now I'm gonna to go to three and three quarters. So three and three quarters, and I'm going to cut down. And then that is going to be the main panel for showing off the color blocking. But on this card here, we're gonna make, okay, I'm gonna show you this one here. These really fun looking leaves here. See how they kind of look like the leaves that are in the embossing folder? And those come from the ranunculus dies, the ranunculus dies. So that's a really pretty stamp set. And I used this leaf in there. And so what I did was just die cut a crushed curry one and a Cajun one. And so on this card, I wanted to pull in this deep evergreen. So I'm using evening evergreen here. And because I didn't wanna have, I just wanted a small amount of the, 
Uh oh, let me see, did I do this right? Oh, I didn't cut down this other side, I'm sorry. Okay, where's my little machine? Okay, so we wanna cut down this one to four. Let me see here. I three quarters by five. Oh, guess what, guys? I can't do it on this one. I have to cut it on my other trimmer. That one only goes to four. So I want to go cut this down to five inches. So I'm going to cut it down a little bit. I go a little, and normally I would have this use, I wouldn't necessarily, um, here we go, five. There we go. I just cut a little bit off each side so that the colors were kind of equal right there. Okay, so then we're just going to pop that onto the vanilla. Now you'll see this vanilla isn't um, a big wide piece of vanilla. I just went down um, a 16th of an inch. So instead of going down, um, so because this is three and three quarters, I went just to make this one was um, just an eighth of an inch down. So that meant I went from down to three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And doing that, it just gives your eye just, I don't know, it just looks a little fancier when you do it with a little tight border on there. And then I just used a wonderful sentiment. And I used, I stamped it in the evening evergreen and that wonderful sentiment comes from the perched, oh, I had so many things on my desk, the perched in a tree um, stamp set. I was playing with this for a class I have coming up and this perched in a tree, I used this beautiful one because I had the season in there and I think when we think of seasons, we always think of fall, don't we? So I just put um, Cajun and then I used it on the curry and then I used cur the curry is going to go down here. So I'm going to finish up this card and you'll see that on my blog along with this one. This one you can see I added some pumpkin pie in there. So it's two different ones. So you're going to be able to pop over to my blog to see that finished one. Now one more that I did with the color blocking I want to show you is I used that same sentiment right there no matter the season I'm here for you. I used two of these beautiful aspen leaves that are in the perched, is it here? No, where is it? Perched, okay, the perched in a tree guy, dies. So these perched in a tree dies have this beautiful aspen tree and then has a big leaf and a smaller leaf. So I did two leaves in the colors that I chose. Here's like what the big one looks like. Isn't that just beautiful? So I did two of the small ones there and I die cut the aspen trees there. Um, I guess they're aspen if they're called aspen tree dyes. Um, so what I did is make, pop those aside there, I just made my color blocking and then I'm going to cover this up here and you're going to get that look of fall through that. I have to admit I die cut this, I mean I cut this, die cut it, ran it through an embossing folder to get some more texture here, and it got a little too soft for me, so I'm just gonna use the solid one here. I used soft suede for this and early espresso. Um, this card is a standard A2 size card, and I just cut it in half, one of our regular eight and a half by 11s, so it's four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. And again, all those measurements are on my blog and underneath the YouTube description. Okay, so, because this is four by five and a quarter, I need to cut down this color blocking I made. And here's my little trimmer. So I wanna cut this down a little less than four so that three, so that I can fit it underneath there. A little less than four. And wouldn't you know, I think this is, not going to cover it right. We have to bring the big trimmer out anyhow. I thought, oh, I'll get all ready and I'll have all my little pretties. And so we want to go down to like five and a quarter. So five and a quarter. No, it has to go a little less than five and a quarter. What am I thinking? Okay, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off there because it want, you want it to fit underneath 
the soft suede panel, okay? So all we're gonna do is put some glue on the back of this. I made a card, which I'll be posting here um, in a few days, um, where I popped this up off the card. I think I had 20 dimensionals on it because I put little ones all over the leaves. So you'll be seeing that one soon, okay? So I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of that. And then I'm gonna bring my this off of here. I want to bring back my craft mat so I don't get glue on my surface. Then I'm just going to cover up the color. Okay. And doesn't that look super cool? Okay. And it's as easy as can be to pop it onto here. And if you do want a little more dimension, you could put um, dimensionals under there. But just make sure that you have all of it under like if you have a little bit showing here or anywhere around just um, snip it off with your trimmer or snip it off with your scissors and I'm just putting and make sure when you tape your panels together that you tape really well right where they butt up against each other because you don't want them pulling apart and I had one that I didn't have the the tape over that section per se and um, I could see a little bit of the the card base showing so isn't that just oh, so clean and simple and fall and so like I said I use this really fun um, oh gosh I need to tell you too this die is this big long die that's in our um, seasonal labels dies with the beautiful pine cone that in the, it's in the annual catalog it carried over the Christmas season bundle Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Um, so we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this label here, seasonal label dies. I thought that they had retired, but they are still available. So we are going to, I'm gonna be putting this right where the orange and green cross over but I wanna put one of these under here. So I'm gonna just put, I wanna make sure it fits on the card. Do you ever put something together and then you find out it doesn't fit under the card? Okay. So I know it's gonna fit under the card now. And then I'm gonna put this one here on the top. And that one's just gonna go on with some glue. So I'm just gonna put a little glue right here on the label. Then I can play around with that a little bit. Just want to cover up, make sure that I don't have any square corners showing. And then I can take these little dimensionals off here. I spent, um, I, I think it was like the whole, whole day, the other day, just playing around and came up with like, oh, I love to call it color block. Why not um, step up on my tippy toes? Oh, you're not seeing the whole leaf here. I want to show more of this leaf. I'm going to make him, there we go. And then stand up here so this is straight. I'm gonna, I wanna show a little bit of, there we go, now, there we go. And I might just play around and put some more um, demand, uh, little embellishments on there, but right now I see that I will be able to put a dimensional right here there we go okay so we've got this color blocking that's simply putting underneath of a die that you're going to see the color blocking come through and then we did this color blocking where we embossed our panel and you can see the real pretty leaves coming through and then these ranunculus leaves um, from the ranunculus dies so that was another way to do a color blocking and um be looking forward to this one, what I'm gonna do with this one with the Evening Evergreen. And then the first one we did 
was actually color block tape taping together three to make a color block panel and then running a big die through it so that they're connected so you got three different fun ways to play with color blocking um, looking forward to the fall maybe not necessarily the summer ending but just the temperatures and just the smells of fall it's wonderful so enjoy the rest of your summer we still have more summer left um, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to give me a call at cindy lee b well you would call me at 724-323-2296 or you could email me or text me that okay I'm getting confused. You would text me at the same phone number, <laughs> but you could email me at cindyleeb at gmail.com. I love getting texts from you guys um, asking me questions or showing me a card you made. It just brings sunshine into my life, and I thank you for buzzing by, friends.